It's estimated around 100 million patient vital signs are recorded by nurses every year in Australia, taking anywhere between five and ten minutes every bedside check. But new technology being trialled in a small Queensland hospital could revolutionise the practice, saving nurses time and patients their lives. Since being diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma 18 months ago, Aliona Gritsenko has spent much of her time in and out of hospital. When she developed an infection after a stem cell transplant, she had to be woken every hour to have her vital signs checked. It made it really hard to sleep and also to rest in the midst of having fevers and going through the like treatment and the side effects themselves. So I think it was really difficult kind of to manage all of that when you're so sleep deprived. I worked in cancer and palliative care for 10 years and waking people up was probably one of the worst things of the role. New technology being trialled at the 20-bed Kilcoy Hospital may put an end to what has been one of nurses' core responsibilities, taking and recording vital signs. Patients are being fitted with wearable body sensors, which will automatically record their temperature, heart rate, oxygen levels and blood pressure. Patients have commented that they no longer have to be woken up to have their vital signs checked. They can sleep through the process. This technology will be a massive re revolution for nursing. The wireless monitoring technology has been in development for a decade, but it's the first time it's been put to the test by an entire hospital. It could save nurses time and hospital bottom lines. By our calculations, there are over 100 million patient observations performed each year in, in Australia. Patient vital signs are monitored continuously by the technology and the alarm is raised when there are signs of deterioration. If the trial goes well, the technology could be used more widely, even allowing patients to recover at home while still being monitored by hospital staff. In the first few weeks after the stem cell transplant, you don't know how you're going. You don't know, oh, is this bad enough that I should call someone and ask or is it OK? It could also revolutionise rural medicine. We could have a command centre located in a metropolitan facility where the specialist staff are sitting, supervising and looking after and viewing patients that are located in a rural facility. The trial will run until June. Daya Clark, ABC News.